Hey, what's up, guys? Eagle Ride 94 back with another action figure review. Today, we're looking at the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Armored Thanos build a figure from the, of course, Avengers Endgame series. So let's get started. You need a total of six figures to complete your Thanos build a figure. Now, once you build your Thanos, he looks a little something like this. So he does come with a little accessory piece, which is right here. I actually forgot to show this in the video. It came with Nighthawk. So um, I don't know how I forgot it, but I did. But he does come with Nighthawk. So he comes with two pieces, which is the right arm with the accessory piece, which we really don't know much about until we see the movie. Uh, so let's take a look at that first. So this was to be expected. No paint apps at all on this. Just a basic gray plastic color. There's some sculpting going on there, but that is it. So up close, Thanos has a uh, face that has his teeth showing very similar to the Thanos from the 10th Anniversary 3-pack. I'm still under the impression that it is the same head sculpt, just, you know, they sculpted or molded a helmet on top of it. Now, uh, I don't have that Thanos, unfortunately, right now in hand. Anyways, he looks good. It looks fine. I do wish he came with an alternate head. They have done build a figures with multiple heads before. And wish they would have given us one without the teeth showing. Just a normal face uh, would have been nice for this. Um, for you don't have to always pose him with this face here. Now they did give us the purple skin tone that was updated in the 10th anniversary series. So that's good. Uh, I'm also under the impression that maybe they use this piece the same. This is the same piece from that build a figure. They just uh, added the top bicep. Now the armor itself, it looks good sculpt wise, but I think it could have been better paint wise for sure. Uh, again, I, I feel like they cheaped out. They, they went the laziest route possible for this. I mean, they gave us that effect on the plastic where it kind of is like marbleized or kind of shiny, almost metallic a little bit. But I think it could have been executed a lot better with paint, definitely with paint and some shading. And they would have really made this figure look a lot better. I think the sculpt is there, but the paint is not. So I'm sure a customizer out there could actually make this look a little better with maybe just something as small as shading would have been cool or maybe even make the gold a little bit more metallic paint wise but I mean other than that it looks pretty okay I saw pictures of this before I actually got it in hand and it didn't look that great it actually looked like total garbage to me but in hand this figure definitely looks a lot better in hand so you really have to have it in hand to appreciate it more than seeing it in pictures on the back we get some more sculpt going on here it looks like he does wear his armor again in endgame so that'd be nice to see him battle in his armor so a lot of people were requesting that for infinity war we didn't get it there but looks like we're getting it here in terms of his articulation his head is on a ball joint so it's going to swivel left and right you can see here that the helmet almost looks like it's removable but it's only the side flaps that kind of detach from the face everything else is molded so when you turn the head or at least when i turn it this way you can kind of see it separate so that looks kind of awkward. Uh, going to the right, you can see how it um, swivels at a point where it kind of gets angled. Once you go all the way, he looks up here. And then it's a, it's a hinge, so he'll look up about this high, and he'll look down that low. So it could be better, maybe. But yeah. The arms are going to go forward. We get a soft plastic for these shoulder guards for his armor. Um, it still hinders the arm, so about... You know, about that far is what you're going to get. Here's, let's get him back a little bit. Uh, and then in and out has some pretty decent movement. Going back down, there is no bicep swivel though. That sucks. And then we have a single jointed elbow. Let's see if we can bend it because it's super tight. There it is. It bends more than a 90 degree. So that's good at least, even though it's just a single joint. We have a wrist swivel with this wrist actually having a side hinge and this gauntlet hand has a normal hinge on there and then if you get it focused there you go there's some pretty good shading on the gauntlet so so the gauntlet itself is actually pretty nice uh, it is a different color than the armor i don't think they're meant to match going to the torso we have an ab crunch here unfortunately we don't get a waist swivel so that kind of sucks too the legs will kick forward and back in and out not too bad. We have a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees bend very well. 
and then we have the ankles that go on a hinge and then they pivot very very slightly and we do get a swivel there so next to the original Thanos build the figure from Infinity War it pains me to compare them next to this one since this is the inferior version uh, it's not the updated version from the 10th anniversary 3 pack but this is all I got right now and definitely looks better with the armor on um, try to not look at the skin uh, tones here and height wise they are about the same height so they got the height correct it does seem like <laughs> like Thanos lost a little bit of weight because they made this figure a lot wider at the torso area you see how wide he is there and it's very much slimmer on the armored version so either the armor is too tight on him and is squeezing him to death or he did lose some weight it's funny when you look at it side by side like that also the gauntlet here actually looks a lot better on the new version here we got some shading and it looks a little bit darker so that's cool don't know if that has to do with the fact maybe it got damaged or burned from the end of infinity war maybe who knows or maybe they just updated the color on the figure something as simple as that next to the coal obsidian build the figure that's how he stands next to him which is pretty accurate here we have him next to proxima midnight and lastly next to ebony maw Next to some of the other figures in the way, we have Hawkeye as Ronin, Captain America, and then some of the comic figures from the way, we have Hercules and the Living Laser. Here he is next to everyone's favorite from Infinity War, we have Star-Lord. Next to his daughter, Y. Gamora. Next to Loki, now actually, in the beginning of Infinity War, he was wearing his armor, and I think it was this one exactly. I assume it was. I, I mean, it was so brief and quick that you really couldn't tell, but um, yeah, when he... Did the thing in the movie i mean if you haven't seen the movie yet i mean what what the heck are you doing but when he did the thing to loki in the movie he was wearing this armor and there he is next to the hulk from the age of ultron avengers movie so i don't think no we haven't we haven't gotten hope from infinity war he was only there for a brief period of time maybe we'll get a second wave for endgame where we can get a hulk from endgame so there's your look at the armored thanos build a figure from the new avengers endgame Marvel Legends series. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a pretty nice figure. Could have been a lot better. I gotta say, it's not the it's not the best it can be. I mean, I wish Hasbro went a little extra for this and gave us a nice looking armored Thanos. Cause once we see that movie and we see him like this, we're gonna want a good Thanos in an armored figure. So this is this is it for now. But until maybe Bandai Tamashi makes one. Uh, and gives us that definitive version or maybe Hasbro's going to make a, a repainted version of it again which I hope not I mean this was their chance they should have really really hit it out the ballpark with this I mean the scope's there but the paint's not for me at least maybe I'm crazy but if you can look past that it's actually a pretty cool looking figure so don't forget to leave a comment subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always have a great day bye in time you will know what it's like to lose. Run from it, destiny still arrives.